We have people who come here and they break the laws of this country, right? They get their anchor babies and they do the most and they still expect to be able to live and remain in the Cayman Islands. And I'm gonna give you one such example here this morning. Y'all remember this young lady, pretty face. Her name, I can't remember her name now. Ilalin, Ilalin, Kirkernal, something, 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 something. And she's not related to the Kirkernals here. It's so funny how we have all these names from all over the place, but you guys might remember her. Does anybody remember? Uh, let me let me test your memory. Those of you who've been following the platform for a minute. Do you recall why she was featured on CMR? Anybody who can remember this is going to win a prize here today. What do we got? What do we got? We got some beautiful waffle monkey gift certificates. Oh, I know what I'm going to give you all today. I'm going to give you a four in one device charger. So you can charge all of your devices from one single thing. It's got the four little extensions on it. You got your USB, your regular um, uh, USB-C, the regular USB port. So if you got an Android phone, Apple phone, whatever, you, you're covered. Does anybody remember? <laughs> so Queen is like, was she scamming? Well, y'all look close. Get a little bit more specific. Um, CC said they're having relations or having children in case the relationship don't work. Yeah, that's how they're going to anchor themselves. She says, bear paper Caymanians being racist towards us, born and raised Caymanians, make it make sense. Theft, yeah, not from the bank. Anthony, she did steal. Does anybody remember what she stole though? Because this one was so interesting because of what it was. Nope, not a marriage of convenience. Well, not yet. She's probably working on that next. Anthony, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. Mark said from a bank, so it wasn't from a bank. Uh, I'm gonna give you both a certificate though, because you're right. She is a thief. Yes, convicted, gone to court, stole money. So I'm I'm free to call her that. Here is the article: sales clerk convicted. Her sentencing was postponed back in September of 2019 for stealing for a $400 theft. Now, this is stupid. You ruined your own name for $400, Lord Jesus. But, you know, this is when she was just starting out. <laughs> Aquina said, did she steal draws? <laughs> no. <sighs> ah, so she stole um, from her employer who happened to be price right back in August of 2018. So what she did was she did a return at a 40 inch TV and pocketed the money for herself from the cash drawer. Hmm. Guess what? She's still in the Cayman Islands. Not only did she steal from her employer, but she's gone on to work illegally in the Cayman Islands, was picked up by enforcement. My sources said maybe it was about last year. Was picked up by enforcement for working illegally, fined for that, paid an administrative fine, because most of those cases you never hear about in the criminal court because um, works has the power, formerly immigration, to administratively fine them. It's still a breach of the law. And it demonstrates someone who doesn't care about any of our laws. Stealing, immigration law, don't care. For the past six months, she has been in this country and people are asking me, how is this possible? How is she still here? And I'm asking the powers that be, how is she still here? They keep giving her extension after extension because supposedly she is waiting on a cabinet work permit or some kind of cabinet grant to be able to remain in this country. Excuse me? What? Somebody make it make sense. Pretty face, yeah. 
And so I'm asking some questions myself. I'm like, a cabinet what? A cabinet who? A cabinet permit? For what? What would be making her special? What would make her special to be able to get a cabinet work permit or cabinet permit? Cabinet members? I'm asking y'all here today. Who, who all's in cabinet? The premier? Uh, Mr. Honorable Wayne Panton? Honorable Chris Saunders? Honorable Kenny, Kenneth Rankin? Um, Kenneth Bryan, um, Honorable Sabrina Turner, Honorable J. E. Banks. Who else we got? Honorable Andre E. Banks, mm, Honorable Bernie Bush. Is that it? I think that could be it. I can't remember. Anybody else? Y'all better not give this girl no permit. Works. Why y'all keep giving her time? Six months on time? There are people in this country who have a more of a connection to the Cayman Islands who have not been so lucky. So what is it about her that is getting her the luck? Now, you all know there's a lot of shadiness going on in this country. Al Ray says maybe it's the pretty face. Well, she, uh, pretty face, something else probably going on here. I am not beyond, I, I'm not naive. I know what y'all be, some of y'all be doing, so-called elected officials. Some of you, a married man, a family man, married and family, my behind. Mm -hmm. A little pinch and a little squeeze, and you ready to give away the whole kitten and caboodle in this country. Y'all need to stop that foolishness. I mean, y'all want to talk about talk to the average person in the street about marriages of convenience and, and, you know, caring more about your country? and standing for the right thing, when y'all as, as elected officials doing the same foolishness, and for far less, I must add, for a little tumble in the sheets, or even the potential promise of something, y'all better get it together. Somebody please call anybody at works. Who, who's, had a, who's had a works now anyway? They kept changing so much that I've forgotten. Why is she still in this country? How is it? Yeah, Chantel, that's what I'm questioning myself. How is it that she remains here and continues to get time? On what special dispensation is this happening? You see, we need to start calling out this kind of foolishness on a national level. Working illegally, stealing from people. And this is what y'all want to keep her in this country? Y'all have got to be crazy. Of all the people we need to keep, this ain't it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this ain't it. We need to, to, to want people of some degree of caliber. There should be standards. You know why she's running to cabinet? Because nobody else can give it to her. She's not going to be able to get it through any other route because she's already a criminal. Convicted thief. Convicted for breaching immigration laws. Has no respect for the laws of this country. So she's going to run to all seven, eight people because she's more likely to convince one of them to be her savior. Y'all need to have this make sense to me because I'm not understanding it. Good morning, caller. Hello? Caller, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. No? Maybe that's her calling in. Maybe she was going to give us an explanation that we wanted to hear. But you got to, you got to speak up when I call you now, when you call in. Uh, CBC is giving her the time. Yes, but she's been given the time because she's given them the story about how she's waiting on some permit from um, cabinet to be able to stay here. Six months later, she's still here. El Rey says, sounds like she's earned the right to be gone. <laughs> you better believe that. Mm-hmm. Yes, child, sip that tea because something ain't right. So I don't know. In the name of all the turtle stew in the Cayman Islands, what is really going on here? But something not right. And so 
we have to ask the question, why is she still here? 64% of the people in this country that were not born in the Cayman Islands like her. And we accept to a certain extent, we need foreign workers because we don't have enough Caymanians for all these jobs, this economy that we've created. But there's certain things that we should do in setting a standard of who we want to bring into this country. Now, hey, sometimes we get it wrong. Sometimes we think the person's a good person. And uh, a lot of times they're not. But if we know it beforehand, can we please not invite them to be one of us? Okay. We know that she has not earned the right folks to be one of us. That being the case, folks, Don't do it. Cabinet, I don't know what y'all thinking or if you're thinking at all. If you bothered to even look into this situation, this young lady coming and begging you a favor, let me encourage you to do your homework. Because we the people deserve better. You know, when we're asking you for decent representation, it's stuff like this that y'all need to stop engaging in. We don't want representatives who are going to be promising people favors, whether it's the big time developer who will be contributing nothing to this community, or if it's the local Honduran thief Mm -hmm. who had a good job or at least a job at price, right? Making money, right? Schemes and, you know, takes $400 from her employer. And when you go on her social media page, the girl don't look like she need and want for anything. Going out drinking every weekend, all up in the bars, drinking, and having the most fun ever. So y'all tell me, this is what we want? This is the caliber of what we're importing into this country? It can't be. It just doesn't make any sense. But yep, that's her. Six months of extensions. There are people here who have more Caymanian connections who are kicked out of this country quicker than this. They're not given six months of time. She must be pretty confident that cabinet is going to be approving whatever foolishness this is the special permit. I'm like, really? Mm -mm -mm. Y'all have got to do better. I mean, truly got to do better. That's one example, folks, of how we get it wrong. One example of us missing the mark. Right? If you want to come to the Cayman Islands and you want to get all the benefits of being here, uh, living in this community, whether that means a safer life for you, whether that means, you know, more, uh, better financial security, whatever, you got to play by the rules. And the rules, the most basic of rules are you can't be a criminal. You can't go around stealing from people. You can't steal from your helper or your, uh, well, you can't steal from your helper either, but you can't steal from your workers. You can't steal from coworkers. You can't steal from companies that decide to take out a work permit for you. You can't abuse people. You can't be physically abusive. You know, there are just some basic expectations that we have if you want to remain in this community. And if you don't make the grade, then you don't make the grade. And when it comes time for you to leave, you got to pack up and go. <laughs> CC says her body might be the master tool. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Marshall hitting the nail in the head. Says, yeah, it's that straight here to making those politicians go crazy in the Spanish. Boom, boom. Uh -uh. Truth be told, we know. And some of these politicians, they're so nasty. They go around promising people all kind of stuff. They're the ones who are really selling themselves 
and, and by extension, selling the country down the road as well. Well, we the people have had enough of it. So I'm asking today, now I don't know who's in charge of works, like I said, I can't even keep up anymore. But whoever you are, I am asking you to please do not give this girl, well, somebody said it'd be CBC. There is no reason to give her a further extension. Cabinet, respond to the young lady and deny her application, if she's made one. Deny the application for a cabinet grant or permit or whatever the heck y'all are supposed to be giving her. Because I see no merit for this. Sasa says, says in the higher ups and some of these same government departments will look out for her too. Corruption. Yes. Because they hoping they can get a date too. They want a date night. You're all so scandalous with your behavior. Y'all would be surprised how some of these girls get to stay here. And they pass them around like the proverbial bicycle. Everybody getting a turn, child. And then they sit down and they, they, they talk about it as though it's something to brag about, you know. Denver wants to know where she's from. She's from Honduras. And yes, um, you know, we, we hear the stories about what they be up to. And some of them be dating. See, same girl will have five connected boyfriends, one or two MPs sharing her. Then she got another boyfriend who's a business owner. And then she got another one who wants to be in politics. Y'all are so sloppy and so messy. Ew. Yeah, that happens for real right here in the Cayman Islands. And who do we have to blame? Well, Tracy says CBC is to blame. They allow persons uh, who no longer have a work permit to remain as long as they can to show that they have someone supporting them at funds and this is the foolishness and they should not have been given more than two weeks to pack up and leave. Mm-mm-mm. Cece says, but Sandy, who is it that Johan mentioned sending out nudes out of their, uh, what is this, muscatool? Muscatool? Oh, of their musket. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I just figured out what that meant. I was like, what? Oh, yes. Your hand be all up in the sus. Your hand is so shady. Where is your hand this morning? You always be talking about, why is this news? But he'd be the first one to talk about, yeah, it's, it was only this big. I saw the photo. I'm like, Johan, try and behave yourself. Anyway, folks, I wanted to highlight that one today. That was on the agenda to discuss today. There we go. There we have it. Uh, keeping thieves and overstayers and people who breach immigration laws in the country so that they can continue to break the laws of this country. That's, that's what we're all about.